All right. What's up, guys? This is Dan with Next Level. We are back. We are outside. We are in the back country, my favorite spot. Today, guys, we are talking about one of my favorite fundamentals, the downhill track. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, super sorry that this last Monday, guys, we did not put out a Next Level Riding Clinic YouTube video. We were very busy at the Jackson Hill Hill Climb. I was supporting my fellow Polaris athletes that are out there just crushing the Hill Climb course. Congrats to Keith Curtis for literally putting on a riding clinic up that hill. And if you guys got to see it from the live stream or were there, it was absolutely unbelievable. We had tons of snow this year, making that course just so crazy and just lots of fun to watch all those guys and gals excel at that sport. You know what, those guys, they take all of the fundamentals that I try and teach to riders in the backcountry and continue to practice myself and apply it to the race course. And it's just unreal to watch. So anyway, I apologize for not putting the video out, but guess what? We're back out, we're on the snow. We're gonna be practicing and teaching you the fundamentals of the downhill track. All right, everybody. So from previous Next Level YouTube channel videos, we've been talking about basic fundamentals of foot position, sort of where our upper body needs to be, that we lead with our shoulders and hips. You guys remember that from the side hill video. All of those fundamentals, they really come into play when we're talking about a downhill track. Uh, also, we were talking about and practice the downhill 180. You can see from the slope that we're on right now, guys, this is a really steep slope dropping off into terrain that has some pretty good consequence. We've got trees below us. If I were to just let the sled go downhill, you know, I'm gonna pick up a bunch of speed and I don't really have a hallway or an opportunity to get down through those trees very safely. So we're gonna practice the downhill track. All of those things we just talked about, our throttle and our brake, looking ahead, where our feet are on the running board, those are all gonna get put into play so that we can safely navigate down this at an angle in a downhill track. Let's do it. All right, so I'm getting ready to come in and initiate my downhill track. You guys notice that I am wearing the tether. I'm in the neutral position right here to keep me under the hillside. My brake is actually locked. I will release that, come back down into this terrain. I will initiate my counter steer, still with that one finger on the brake. I'm gonna blip the throttle. And as I blip the throttle, guys, I'm releasing my finger from the brake, letting that sled lurch forward and put me into that downhill track position. Some things to remember from previous videos, my foot, once it's opposite foot forward, I am 40 degree on the running board. And remember this more than ever, when I step, I'm not just stepping out, I'm stepping forward. The sled's gonna move forward and I'm gonna meet it there. Here we go. Counter steer, my finger's on the brake. Here comes my foot, 40 on the running board. This foot's gonna step out, listen to the blip of the throttle, on the throttle, off the brake, and then back on the brake. Counting it down. One, two, three. So, really, that's the move, guys, that is gonna set the stage for how successful this downhill track is gonna be. You can see now terrain I don't wanna be in, terrain or the direction I wanna go. I'm gonna keep my hips and my shoulders and the direction of the snowmobile. So I'm headed off in a left-hand turn here. From this position here, guys, I may choose, depending on body height, size, weight, distance of the sled, 155, 63, I may choose to move that foot back a bit on the running board. What's nice is that I can change that foot position as I make this downhill track. So really all I'm gonna be doing here, guys, this is such a great on the brake, giving it gas, back on the brake type of drill. In deeper snow, could you just drag a foot and go all the way down this? And the answer is sure you could. Because this snow is a bit rigid, we're gonna step, step, step our way down through this, keeping this as the terrain that we don't wanna go into. We're gonna downhill track away. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so going along relatively easy, guys. Here's the next one. This is a big tip, and this is from my good buddy and fellow instructor at Next Level, Dylan Hoppala. And what he has, it's a great analogy, as you'll notice 
where my butt is right here. You guys want to act like we're sitting in an imaginary chair. So I'm sitting in this chair above the sled and I'm keeping my knees really bent, staying really low to the ground. This is also another point to why I want those low handlebars. Right now, guys, really steep hillside. The focus is low center of gravity and every bit of my center of mass above the sled. I don't want the sled to lay flat and go down the hill where I don't want to go. So I'm holding that sled to the uphill side. Remember this, if I'm going down and the sled starts to lay flat, it means that I'm losing my counter steer and I need to apply more counter steer, pulling that inside ski away from terrain, holding that sled to the uphill side. Here we go. Sitting in that chair right here. guys let's remember a few things with the downhill track it's really important that we practice this on safe slopes understand that I want to use my brakes you know remembering to use our brakes guys is such a key fundamental to mountain riding you can notice if you are watching you're seeing that brake light being applied nearly every time I step and that's really important to keep our keep our body position right on the snowmobile as you gain more confidence do it in steeper terrain remember in deeper snow we may not have to use the brakes as much, but certainly on snow like this, I'm applying brake to keep my momentum and to keep my control of the sled so that I can control that thing the whole way down. You guys, thank you so much once again for watching. Leave those questions, those comments below. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.